Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we we pray for today and we pray for one another in whatever we're about to face, whatever we are, we're facing already. And Lord, we pray for the remembrance that we're not alone in any of this. That because of your love, we have the fellowship of believers that you have placed in our life, that you have by faith made us a part of. And Lord, what a grace it is to not be alone in the struggles of faith and the struggles of life, to dwell in your love. And Lord, we pray today for those who have stepped outside. Oh, it's a cold world out there. Have stepped outside the fellowship, have stepped outside worship, have stepped outside thinking they can live well enough in faith <clears throat> on their own. And Lord, we know that it's not true and that they're going to discover that it's not true and they're going to feel ashamed and worried about what it will be to come back to fellowship or move on to a fellowship. And so Lord, we pray for both their humility and the assurance your peace offers. We don't welcome anyone with judgment. We seek to welcome all with love. And Lord, when we sin and take your place and become judges and step past discernment and enact divisions among us, Lord, calm our hearts, humble our spirits, and set us to right in our own shameful actions. Lord, we pray for your church in its need to open its doors a whole lot better than it does. We pray for your churches everywhere, the congregations that are gathered, that they will see the ministry in Christ that we share even with our differences. And we have them. Lord, we don't deny that. We, we are approaching your throne from different directions and <clears throat> we question whether any one of them is following Christ. We come seeking you. We come trying to obey the best way we know how, but we sin, fall short. We lack wisdom. Lord, in all that we boast about, there's still plenty for us to ask forgiveness for. And we do that today, especially as we come to your word and we seek guidance from your word. For when we come with an open heart, with a considerate and listening mind, Lord, you speak. You're speaking already. But Lord, when we come with our own conclusions made, we muffle your word. And in the end, we often set it aside for our own will and agenda. Forgive us all when we have done this. And we have all done this at some time. Lord, forgive us. Receive us again. Lord, renew our relationship, we pray. And offer us again your Holy Spirit, that we might, in walking in your Holy Spirit, shine a light into this world so filled with darkness, fear, and doubt, that we may have peace, especially for this season. All this and more we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> we turn now to Leviticus chapter 19, reading at verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. In keeping all of God's statutes, in following the commandments, in following where the commandments lead us as they lead us to Christ. There is this resounding theme. Love, and not just love in worship, not just love in ceremony, love in sacrifice, love in praise, but <clears throat> love in your immediate surroundings. Right now, where you're at, love your neighbor. Now, I'm pretty blessed. I've got tremendous neighbors. Oh, we don't see eye to eye on everything. In fact, I think we all have a differing view about how long the lawn should be and what are the best kinds of Christmas decorations. And that's okay, because I love my neighbors. And I'm ready to forgive them 
even if they have more lights up. We love our neighbors, not just because they'll love us back, but we love our neighbors to set an example. We love our neighbors to set example for other neighbors, for other neighborhoods. Peace, world peace will really begin when the whole world loves its neighbors. And it's one thing to try and look at peace on the other side of the world and make peace on the other side of the world. But if we don't have it in our own homes, in our own neighborhoods, between cultures that are door to door, and we live in a lovely tapestry country here in Canada, where from one door to the next, you could have whole different religions, you could have whole different uh, culture backings, you could have whole different his historical community, you could... You could have the most different families living side by side. And for the most part, we do this in peace. And what a wonderful example to give to the world. Except when we don't do it. Except when we do it only on the surface. Except when we, we don't really want to love our neighbor. We just tolerate our neighbors. Toleration doesn't always lead to peace. And agreeing to disagree doesn't always lead to amicable settlements. We need to love our neighbor, to love them, to embrace them, to encounter them, to rejoice that they are there, that they're our neighbor, and to pray that what we do and how we live before them will bring Christ's peace into their life. God bless and keep you. Amen.